Hello, I am Virginia. I am a mother of three boys. This is my husband, Gamma. He likes finance and reading news on the internet. These are my boys, Isidro, Lorenzo, and Tomas. They enjoy running, wrestling, and of course, playing with the tablet. This could have been a very regular family if it wasn't for the fact that I was born, raised, and educated in Argentina. Gamma was born, raised, and educated in Colombia. We first met in the Netherlands. We became a couple in Paraguay. We got married in Burkina Faso. Our kids were born in South Africa, and we've been living in Mozambique for eight years. This is how an ordinary day in our life looks like. If you are lucky enough to have energy and water, we wake up and get ready to bring our kids to school and go to work. Work today means going to visit a community where we implement a project. Then we hit the road. We are in Yasa province in northern Mozambique. Gamma and I work for a project funded by the government of Switzerland, which aims at increasing access to water and sanitation facilities for people living in the rural areas of the province. This is extremely key in a context in which more than 50% of the people don't have access to safe drinking water and 85% of them don't have a safe infrastructure for domestic sanitation. The most affected are women, as they are responsible due to cultural and social division of work of domestic services. For fetching water, they carry 20 liter water bags on top of their heads, buckets that weigh 20 kilos. Today, I am supervising technical work to verify if the water hole under construction has sufficient flow, ensuring good provision of water for the community. We are also having a discussion with the community to establish a committee for maintenance of the water hole. On our way back home, we come across some interest traffic signs. Beware of the elephants. The day continues with a bit of desk work until it is time to pick up the kids from school. On our way back home, we stop at the local supermarket. This is where we find fresh vegetables and fruits direct from the source. Our kids were born and raised in Africa. This is their world, as they enjoy every step of the way. The market always gives us some interesting some prices too. Now it is time to go back home, have a shower, dinner, and to enjoy some extra family time before going to bed. When we decided to start a migrant life, we didn't think we would go this far, 15 years away from our home countries. At the time, we were moved by the interest of having a meaningful career, which would match professional development with service to others, and of course, some curiosity for other cultures. When I go to bed and the limelight has faded out, I cannot avoid remembering the many life-changing situations we faced along the way. Then the question comes back once and again. What on earth am I doing here? Every migrant holds a world within. We are not heroes, whatever type of work we do. The most courageous decision that we have ever made is choosing to be far away from our own cultures, from anything and everyone you know, in the impossibility of being fully part of the environment that we live in. Whether you are part of the diaspora in a well-recognized paid job, or if you just got off the boat that brought you to your ideal of freedom, at the end of the day, 
we are all destined to be outsiders.